Okay, so this is the Northumberland Road. It connects Shankill to the uh, the fall, uh, falls. There's another church there. Free Presbyterian Church. And there's another one up there. Here's the... Uh, when they had the funeral, this is what they brought the coffin in. The old traditional style with the black horse. As I was walking by up the road, the man at the uh, fireworks shop, he said, geez, you're walking up and down. And he seen me and I said, oh yeah, I'm just vlogging. I'm in Belfast. He said, oh, where are you from? Canada? And he said, yeah, yeah. Originally, I said, didn't give him too much information. And uh, I said, yeah, I'm just, you know, showing up to Shank Hill. I said, now I'm going to head to the falls. And they said, turn to turn. He said, well, I wouldn't do that there. And he derogatory saving about that and, and I said ah I'm just showing both sides and I want to see the city of Belfast and take on a hockey game and he was very pleasant enough in that but you could tell that there was no love lost between him and the people at the live hundred couple hundred yards away on the Falls Road so here's another church on the left it's an old traditional style doesn't look like it's been used no nope. a lot of moss a lot of green moss I'd say it's very close to the the border too so yeah there's not even a sign up Keep walking up here. Like I said, it's, it's not a far walk from the Shank Hill to the falls. It's just you have to go up this stretch of road, which is probably about, say, 250 meters long. Northumberland Street, there it is. And here's some more murals on the side of the wall. Crossing over, you can see the uh, fences. So during trouble times, and that these get closed off, and there was checkpoints. So you go from one checkpoint to the other. See the road closes. There's some murals on the side. Here's another last bit. Shank Hill. Peace day every day. And now you're in West Belfast. So now you're on the other side. Here's another set of doors. So now you're officially in the Republican side. So now we'll see what the difference is between the two. Morning. Hello. How are you? There's some murals on the side of this wall. I'll go even up to the Falls Road. We'll just so, Solidarity POWs. Battle of the Falls. Build homes now. The workers' party. through Cullen Pubble it's for the Irish language Pubble community service so they have same thing with the uh, RNLI that we've seen on the uh, the Shank Hill side the 
see all the different murals as we're walking up. And then here's the hunger strikers. There's Nelson Mandela. Sign. And, then, and then here we are. We arrive to oh, sorry, to the left. I carry on, and that'll take you into the city center. There's some more murals. walk along here and then I'll come up and I'll go up and block you Cuba Falls Commemoration Committee Sense unity in our time. And the hunger, the blanket man, hunger strikers. Maybe it'd be a good one for see that. I don't know if that's a good one. Probably find another one a little bit nicer. We'll see. We'll walk up to the Falls Road now. Coming up, Che Guevara. Very near and dear to me, both him and Bobby Sands. And then we'll walk up. So that was like a wall of murals, so you can see it. Not really the same as they had up in the Shank Hill site, but I think they have murals there and, and they're also in other estates there because I know I had a cousin of mine lived in the, the short strand and there was a Republican side and then a, a loyal side and there was a big wall separating them and they have all sorts of murals around there so there there's murals throughout in different cabinets and that and I can see a picture of Bobby Sands up ahead I think that'll be a good one for a potential um, thumbnail. Here's Greg's. Greg's has some good stuff. Let's see, maybe we'll get a bite to eat there later. See what time it is. Because what I'll do is I'll probably vlog all the way up to the falls and I might take a taxi back towards the, uh, the hotel. Because I've been walking a fair bit today getting a little tired and I don't want to burn myself out too much because we have the hockey game coming up tonight liquor store bar and lounge and then yeah I think I remember being here I've been, I was here before Back in 2001, I did a, a tour with one of my cousins. His nickname's Bugsy. And uh, he took me around and we seen a lot of the murals. So you see here's murals in remembrance. 
posters and signs and painting stuff along the wall. Here's the Falls Leisure Center. So you see you have two leisure centers pretty much off this side. If you go on the other side up to North Amberwood, turn left, and on the right hand side there's a big huge leisure center. So they have to have two separate ones. And there's the uh, Garden of Remembrance. We'll cross over there. And I'll see if I can get a picture of that and then we'll go up there for Bobby said. But I think it was closed. We'll see how close we can get. If not, I can... Yeah, it's locked up. But we'll take a look at See if we can get inside there. So here's... And there's the uh, Falls Road, uh, the map on the wall, and then the honor roll of the garden. It's too pity it's locked up. We can't get in. Let's see if I think it. So we work our way up, and here's a H block memorial. There's a uh, drugs can throw, but they also kill. Hello. Hello. See, the, there's, a, there's a huge tourist draw for Belfast now, so there is an economy base. Like, like I said, if you look up online, you can see the black taxis, and there's tons of different tours available. So that brings money, people, and, and I see a lot of tourists that are around taking the tours spending money in the city so this the city has had an increase whereas back during the times of the troubles and before that you know it was basically a no-go area and they lost out on a lot of you know potential revenue and stuff and but it is nicer now that there is you know peace here now there's still issues around July uh, 12th commemorations and also with the border pole uh, border pole and the brexit and what's happening in the UK you know Scotland wanting out now they just left Europe and then you had the war with Ukraine which followed uh, after that and then all of a sudden you seen the uh the you know the positive sides of being in a europe with united europe there's a bobby sands poem carnegie branch falls road Here's an air black taxi guy doing a tour. Let's see if I get There we go. So there's Bobby Sands. That's the main one. And here's the Sinn Fein office shop it's closed right now Yale school so that's an Irish language school Chapel of Adoration. It's a nice building. Again, it's locked up. So you wonder if it's for the times that we're in it or 
just after Christmas. Anyways, if you know, you can put a comment in below there for me. Let me know if these shops are usually open as much or so well. Here's a premier place where you can get coffee or convenience store. It's G A C. Here's the Patty Powers. And then there's a mural here. So we have Sean McDermott, executed by the British for his role in Easter Uprising. And then we have the Ancient Order of Iberians, Belfast Division, 1958. There's a pub there. Cross over. You can see a uh, nice little park area there. A pack, uh, statue of a boxer and then a fountain. So maybe we'll go in there. Just gonna walk up this part a bit. Find out who the boxer is. Greens, quality furniture and hardware. Want a brush? A laundry, barber shop in there. Boyle's Bar. It's closed. Obviously, still too early. Let's see if we can get in there. I don't. It doesn't look like it's opened. Like it's the, 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 the gates on the looks closed. Waterford Street. Strad for Oh yeah, it is open. Let's cross over. And we'll take a look at the park. Then we'll come keep going up that way. And then I think see how far the Falls Road goes. I don't think it's as long as the Shanko. But we'll start off with the Boxer. Because I'll probably cut this part when we walk up to it. Okay, here we are at the Boxer. John Cal it's Caldwell, 1938 to 2009, in recognition of his achievement in boxing. Olympic bronze medalist for Ireland in 1956 and world bantamweight champion 1961. And then I'll show you this part here. It's a nice little park for kids to play in. And then we'll walk down to the fountain or that monument that's in the middle. And then we'll continue on back up the Falls Road. The rain has stopped predominantly, so we're lucky that way. And here's a like a mugga inside there with the uh, high fence in there to practice probably football. And by football, I mean GA football because it has the posts where the, with the goals. They also have soccer nets, so they probably play soccer too. I'm not a big fan of the old soccer ball. I love ice hockey myself. I like GA, I like football and hurling. Nice little fountain of some sort. I don't know what it's for. Let's see, we we'll walk around and see if we can see a pack of some sort. But there's no water coming up, but it probably did in, the, in its heyday. And 
then we'll make our way back up to the Falls Road to the end and then take a taxi back to the hotel and relax a bit. So this was erected in 1892. Doesn't really say what it is. So if any of you know, please comment in the below and tell me what this was for. So it's a park that's just in the Falls Road, opposite Boyle's Bar, where it has the statue of the boxer. Now we'll make our way back up and continue on the Falls Road that way. Morning. All right, now we're back on the Falls Road. There's the barbers there. The barber shop seems to be open today, a few places. Not a lot much else, so. Like I said, it's 11 o'clock now, so if they were opening, they would be open, I think. Other than maybe, you know, other than maybe, uh, the bars and that which might open up after 12 or so. so Chinese right way there. Falls Road Pharmacy. Subway. Subways are everywhere. Taking over the world. Here's the uh, Royal Hospitals. Let's take a shot. We're walking up here, and then there's a chapel there. So this is the hospital to the left here. I wonder if this is the hospital where my mom was born. Cavendish Square. We'll cross over. And we'll take a look at this. There's Jesus on the cross. There's a nice bus there. Translink glider. Geez, it could fit some people in that. We'd have waked a bit. When I first saw it, it looked like a train. There's the church. Chapel, I should say. And then. Oh yeah, here he is. Take a look. St. Paul's Church. I wonder if that's the parochial house. Where the, look at the bollards they have there. It goes up and down. Pastoral Center. And the side entrance. Very interesting. And then, 
see the mountains in the background you can have a bit of a picture i don't know if the gopro picks it up as well oh i mean there's a mural here let's walk up that way see if we can see what this mural is see that nice house up in the the mountains there i don't know if you could see it it's a lovely view hello Cavendish Square. And then here's a little convenience store, I think. Coffee shop. Vivo Essentials. Michael Conwin. The Beehive. Violet Street. There we go. Now we'll head back up and turn to the right. And we'll keep going. Now they're separated by a couple hundred meters. Now there does seem, from my point of view anyways, there seems to be a bit of a difference in the... Um, the feel of the streets. 